What's up, guys? Jaxel back again. Uh, some more updates to the progress of the upcoming uh, opening of the new Scoreboard Assistant website. And uh, there's something I've been working on this weekend that I wanted to show off. And uh, what this is, is uh, Stream Deck support. So, uh, I don't know if you guys have Stream Deck. It's $150. It's available from Elgato. And it's basically a... A touchpad with LED screens on it, and you can push buttons on it to update various things in your stream. And what I have done is I have actually built Stream Deck support into uh, the new scoreboard assistant. You can actually see I have a uh, section right here for it. And uh, I'm going to show you how that works. Uh, the first thing I want to mention before I move on is uh, this URL. Uh, if you look at the URL, you will see it actually has uh, two sets of obfuscated keys. Uh, these two keys together are technically an API key. So it's something you want to keep secret and you don't want to show other people. Because anyone who has those keys will be able to update your scoreboard. <laughs> so you really don't want to allow that. Uh, it's... A security thing, uh, there's no reason for anyone to see these keys, and there's no real way for people to to get them unless you tell them what your keys are. All right, so let's uh, move on with the tutorial. And what I'm going to do is uh, create a update score button. And we can see it has an up arrow and an exclamation point. The exclamation point is because it was unable to connect the scoreboard assistant. And it's unable to connect the scoreboard assistant because we have not filled the keys in yet. And the keys are simple. The package key, which is the first one. And then the uh, page key, which is the second one. You can uh, get them easily from the URL. You can also get them from the edit pages. So edit package and the first key is right there. Uh, edit page and the page key is right there. Then we're going to look for the field key because we need to know which uh, uh, fields we want to update here. So I'm going to update the player one field right there. And once that propagates, it's going to connect. And there you go. The exclamation point has changed to a zero. And what it is, is I now have a button on my, uh, on my uh, stream deck. And if I click it, now I don't have a camera on my hand right now. But just, just, just uh, assume I'm clicking the button right now. And you'll see that the one went up. Uh, the scoreboard actually updated in both the... Uh, browser source and on the uh, control panel and I can spam the button a few times and it will uh, take care of it now the scoreboard itself is going to take a while to process all those changes because you know that's just the way the coding is uh, but you can see it already says 8 right here there it goes uh, see it chained all the mat animations and all the animations said keep on hiding as we receive these updates. So it updated one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and that basically extended the animation time by uh eight hundred percent. So all right, so that's pretty simple, right? So let's put a uh, another button right down here. And I'm actually going to use the same exact fields for this. So let's uh just copy all the information over. It's going to be player one again. And this time I'm going to change the direction to be negative one. And uh, I need to change the text so it's on top. I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to do that uh, pragmatically. Uh, hopefully I'll figure it out soon. Uh, but now we see we have an up arrow and a down arrow. And if I hit the uh, down button, we can see the score actually goes down. And of course it updated there and there and uh, you know this is all for player one we can also add buttons for player two let's do that right now there's a lot of cut and pasting going on here because there's a lot of information that needs to be supplied for these buttons for security reasons all right and then let's add whoops i forgot to hit enter so to make sure it saves you generally want to hit enter after each uh 
a field you fill out just so it saves. All right, and now we have a negative one there. I move the text to the top. All right, now we have a button for player two as well. And this is convenient because on your stream deck, you can update scores without actually having to go back to the control panel. I actually have been doing this for a long time with my stream deck, even with the older version of Scoreboard Assistant, but I was using a program called Auto Hotkey to locate fields on the screen, move the mouse cursor, and uh, simulate clicks. So this is a lot simpler because it just takes care of everything, and there's no Auto Hotkey required, and it's very simple to set up, so no scripting or uh, coding knowledge required. Peace out, guys, and uh, Scoreboard Assistant will be opening soon in the next couple of weeks. I am uh, actually working with some beta testers right now to, for them to try it out. If you're interested in beta testing, uh, let me know. Peace.